Walt Disney Educational Media Company presents Math All Around Us. And now, Problem Solving with Mickey Mouse. Oh, this must be the place. Whoever said it's the only castle in town. I hope Mickey knows what he's getting into. You see, Mickey has been hired to manage the old castle hotel. But what he doesn't know is that the owner of the old castle is... What? What's that? Do you have a reservation? Oh, I'm not a guest. I'm the new manager. Oh, my new manager. You better be a good one. This place is filled with problems. Uh, uh, problems? Lots of problems. And you must solve them. But if you fail... What? Your room is in the tower. Good night. Oh, oh what, what a peculiar place. Sworn there was a suit of armor by this lamp table before. The next morning, the old castle didn't seem quite so scary to Mickey. But when he went down to breakfast, uh, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I haven't had clean towels in three days. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll take care of that. Yes, and I hope there's enough breakfast for everybody. Last night they ran out of food before I could say pass the potatoes. If this keeps up, I'm checking out. Poor Mickey. He needed help, and he knew just who to call. Don't worry, Mickey. I'll leave right now. Meanwhile, after breakfast, Mickey talked to Mrs. Bundy, the housekeeper, about the towels. Well, there never seems to be enough towels. And why, that's the question. Well, Mickey could see she wasn't asking the right question. The first step he told her in solving any problem is to ask yourself... What question must I answer? How many... How many uh, towels do I need? Well, good for Mrs. Bundy. And the second step, Mickey told her, is to ask yourself, what facts do I already know? Well, I know that each guest needs 12 clean towels every week. And I know that if every room were taken, we'd have 36 guests. Mickey wrote it all down. 36 guests, and 12 towels each. Now you're ready for the third step. What math do I use? Well, if one guest needs 12 towels a week, 36 guests need 36 times as many. Why, you'd multiply 36 times 12, or 432 towels. Good for Mrs. Bundy. <laughs> That empty armor? It must be a ghost. It was hiding in that doorway listening to you. That suit of armor sure gets around, thought Mickey. Then, from the kitchen. Oh, oh, oh. When they arrived, they found Minnie already there, and she was trying to help a very unhappy cook. You see, Mr. Cook, one pie is enough for only eight people. Oh, oh, oh. Then how do I know how many pies to cook for 23 people? Good. That's the first step. You've asked the right question. Uh, I have? Yes. Now for the second step. What facts do I already know? Well, I know that one pie will serve eight people. And I know I have to serve 23 people. Right. So how many groups of eight are there in 23? Step by step, the cook was solving the problem. Step one, the right question. Step two, the facts. Step three, what math to use. Why, uh, to find out how many groups of eight are in 23, you divide. Uh, 23 by... Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> there are two groups of eight and 23, so that's two pies I have to cook. But what about the remainder? If you make only two pies... Seven people won't get any. Oh, I gotta have another pie for them. Those people will eat seven of the pieces out of the third pie. Hey, 
Hey, that's one piece left over. I will eat that piece. Who's that? Oh, that's the owner, Minnie. Have you ever seen him, Mr. Cook? No, 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 no. It's, it's bad enough to just listen to him. Now, there is still one problem to solve. The Wednesday problem. Oh! oh. What's the Wednesday problem? Oh, I'll show you. It's such a hard problem, nobody can figure it out. And if we don't, the hotel will close down and we'll lose our jobs. Well, Mrs. Bundy and the cook explain that guests are always checking in and checking out. So they never know how many guests to expect. And Wednesday, they said, will be impossible to figure out. You see, today is Monday, and we have 23 guests. Tomorrow, five are leaving, and six new guests are arriving. And Wednesday, four more will come. So, how many guests will we have on Wednesday? Oh, oh it's, it's impossible, impossible to, to figure, figure out. out. Not if you do it one step at a time. Oh, you explain it, Benny. I'm going to look for that disappearing suit of armor. All right. Watch. It's easy. Now, you know what question you must answer, right? Oh, yes. It's how many guests will we have on Wednesday? Now, what are the facts? We have uh, 23 guests now. Tomorrow, five are leaving and six are coming. And four more are coming on Wednesday. Right. Well, the next step is what math do I use? Well, if people leave, you subtract them. And if they arrive, you add them. Good. Now we can compute. Well, if five are leaving tomorrow, you should subtract five from 23. Good. That leaves 18. Then six more are coming tomorrow, so you have to add six people. Right. 18 plus six equals 24. Now, what happens Wednesday? Oh, why, you just add the four more people coming on Wednesday, and you have, uh... Twenty-eight people on Wednesday. Wonderful. But there is one last step every problem solver must use. You must always ask yourself, is my answer reasonable and is it correct? Well, it's reasonable because more guests are coming than leaving. And 28 is more than the 23 you started with. And it's correct because I'm very good at arithmetic. <coughs> oh, that suit of armor has stolen our poster and its helmet has fallen off. Meanwhile, Mickey had found a secret passageway between the walls of the castle. Now I know how that suit of armor got around so fast. Uh oh there's a secret door. Mickey saw that it led to the hotel lobby, and there, kneeling by the great staircase, was the suit of armor. As Mickey watched, the ghostly suit of armor began writing something on the steps. There he is! Oh, oh look. look! All right, Mr. Armor. Explain what's going on here. Oh, hello. Oops, I mean, hello. I'm sorry I scared everybody. See a microphone. I only talked that way so people would think I was important. But why did you hide in the armor? I was ashamed that I couldn't solve all the problems that came up when I opened the hotel. So then I hired Mickey. Oh, never be ashamed that you don't know something. Everyone had to learn it once. Sure. If you don't know something, just ask for help. Besides, solving problems is easy. Oh, it is now. <laughs> See? I wrote each problem-solving step on a separate step. Then, if I forget the steps, I'll just look at all the steps. <laughs> Why, any of us can solve problems now, but I hope you and Minnie will stay on as managers. You're both wonderful. Why, now I can start a whole chain of hotels. Let the problems come. Why, all we have to do from now on is... Watch, watch our steps. steps. Why, I'll open two hotels a year. In five years, that would be... Let's see now. The first step is to... Figure out what question to ask, and that is... How many hotels would you have if you started with this one and added a couple of little M's and then... Oh,